defeat in the Ligier, who could still finish second in the championship. And the American Grand Prix of 1979 is on, and that's Villeneuve streaking through. Piquet left very badly at the start, and Gilles Villeneuve leads into the 90. The first right-hand bend from Alan Jones. A typical brilliant start, and Jacques Lafitte in third position. Jacques Lafitte in third place. There is Gilles Villeneuve, the young French-Canadian, who has driven so brilliantly this season. He had a win in South Africa and a win in Long Beach. And look at the great roosters of water streaming up from enormous rear tires of those cars. And Alan Jones moving to the left of Villeneuve's car to get out of that great wall of water that he's having to drive into. And now they're into the fast top straight. Fifth gear up to 175, 180 miles an hour in the dry, but not, of course, uh, under these conditions, James. But of course, Mario, I just wanted to point out that these conditions really are at least as bad as they look on our screen. When, you, when you, we saw the cars coming towards us uh, completely hidden by spray, that's about as much as the driver can see out of the car if he's following another car. It's really impossible. They have to do a lot of guessing and take it very carefully for the time being. They're just looking at the side of the track to see where they're going, to see where they are on the track, because they can see nothing ahead apart from the leading car. Gilles Villeneuve in the Ferrari, leading Alan Jones in the Saudia Williams in second place. Big crowd here at Watkins Glen. They've come from many parts of America and all, all from New York. And Villeneuve drifting out, hitting the curving on the left there. And the rain which was preceding the start has actually stopped now. So hopefully with the sun coming through and it's starting to do that, the circuit will dry out as we come down to the end of lap one out of 59. Villeneuve leading Alan Jones in second position. Round the left hander they go and off goes that looks like Keke Rosberg but Villeneuve goes through in the lead. Villeneuve now with some three seconds lead over Alan Jones. In third position is Reutemann. Fourth is Lafitte. Fifth is Jabwi and in sixth position Clay Rigazzoni. Then, Reddy Arnu is in seventh place. Pironi is eighth. Watson is ninth. And into the pits already as Pironi goes through. No, it was Hans Cook spinning. And there you can see for yourself the trouble. Spin off. As Villeneuve goes through. It was one of the one of the Brabham's, that, or the Alpha. Probably Bruno Giacomelli that went off there. And now... Gilles Villeneuve is on lap two. Villeneuve comes through to complete his second lap out of 59, and he is undoubtedly increasing his lead over Alan Jones, which is 4.7 seconds. Villeneuve through. Jones nearly five seconds behind him. Carlos Reutemann in third position, and things are getting very strung out, but Clay Rigatoni is up into fourth place ahead of Jack Lafitte. Then a long, long gap as you look at Gilles Villeneuve going through the sector chicane up into the S's and from the S's onto the highest part of the circuit which he is on now and this is where he gets up into fifth gear and you can see that the 27 year old Quebecois Gilles Villeneuve is that distance ahead of this man which is Alan Jones there is Alan Jones in second position going through and on his way down to the right hander at the loop which he's at in the Ferrari, the man who won at Long Beach, the man who won in South Africa, Gilles Villeneuve, second position in the World Championship. Place Villeneuve third, Jones down to fourth. And this is lap 25. Jody Schechter to Ferrari in 1979. James Hunt to take Jody Schechter's seat in the Wolf in 1979. There is Schechter. Villeneuve still some 10 car lengths behind the Wolf, but a long way to go in this race yet, and anything could happen, and very often does in Grand Prix racing. Schechter, who's had a bad season in the middle of the year, but has picked up considerably at the closing stages, and he's finishing his Wolf career with a blaze of glory. In second position, Jerry in front of him, Villeneuve third, Jones fourth, Reutemann fifth, and Ricardo Patrese 
in the arrows up to six position and Villeneuve is challenging and trying to get through but Jody Schechter shuts the door in his face and back to third position goes Gilles Villeneuve but Villeneuve is going to keep on pressing the crowd is willing him on there's a hundred thousand of them there and that's the man they want to win and it looks as though Villeneuve is passed look at that reaction and there he is, Gilles Villeneuve, in the 12-cylinder Ferrari, ideally suited to this circuit, is up into second position with only Jean-Pierre Jarrier in the seemingly invincible Lotus 79 in front of him. Jarrier out, Jean-Pierre Jarrier in the pits and out of the race with no oil pressure after leading for 47 laps. And that means that the Canadian Gilles Villeneuve, number 12, is leading his first Grand Prix on his home ground in Canada with that crowd willing him on to victory. Villeneuve, who led at Long Beach, where he went out of the race. He led at Monza, where he was penalised. Is he going to win his own home Grand Prix in front of Prime Minister Trudeau? And there's a bitterly disappointed Jean-Pierre Jarrier joining Colin Chapman, but at least Jarrier's got the consolation that he's a certainty for a top drive next year. Lap 62, Jody Schechter in second position with just 22 miles to go. Reutemann up to third position, Patrese now fourth, Depaye in fifth position and Derek Daly in the points in sixth place. And James Hunt off the circuit, out of the race, an unhappy end to his last drive for McLaren because next year he goes to Wolf. James wearily, despondently trudges through the mud and looks as though he aims to cross the circuit, but not if that marshal's got anything to do with it. Do you mind going the other way? Yes, indeed, I do, says James. Crosses the course and walks back to the pits as Gilles Villeneuve on his last lap is almost home to his first Grand Prix win, the fifth Ferrari win of 1978. And in this race, Reutemann's Ferrari third with 1979 Ferrari team leader Jody Schechter second in his Canadian-sponsored Wolf. Villeneuve wins and 100,000 cheering Canadians go wild with delight at the first ever Grand Prix win by a Canadian in, of all places, Canada. und wird auch den äh, Grand Prix von Monaco nicht gewinnen. Damit bleibt es beim letzten Sieg für Jones in Long Beach. Und jetzt Begeisterung im Publikum natürlich für den führenden Ferrari-Fahrer Gilles Villeneuve. Es ist ja schon Ewigkeiten her, seit ein Ferrari-Fahrer letztmals einen Grand Prix gewonnen hat. zwei Jahre sind die Wagen aus Maranello sieglos geblieben. Eine enttäuschende Saison 1980 für Jody Schecht und für Gilles Villeneuve. Und heuer großartige Leistungen von Villeneuve mit dem Ferrari Turbo. Einen Monat beim Grand Prix von San Marino in Imola hat der Ferrari Turbo sein erstes Rennen bestritten. Beide Ferrari-Fahrer Villeneuve und Pironi haben damals geführt. In Zolder in Belgien lag Pironi in Führung, ehe er Bremsdefekte bekam. Und heute hat Gilles Villeneuve nur noch eine Runde zu fahren und dann gewinnt er den ersten Grand Prix für Ferrari seit mehr als zwei Jahren. Noch einmal hinauf zum äh, Casino. Gilles Villeneuve ist äh, sicherer Führender, hat von Elton Jones nichts mehr zu befürchten und Jacques Lafitte, der Franzose, der an dritter Stelle liegt, bereits weit zurück, ungefähr 45 Sekunden. Zum letzten Mal die Mirabeau-Kurve, zum letzten Mal die löw harnadel In unserer zur Hafenkurve. Monte Carlo für Ferrari. Ja, 
Heinlein, das geschlafen im letzten Moment hat er reagiert, aber das ist egal. Gilles Villeneuve, Sieger im Grand Prix von Monaco. Es ist der Höhepunkt in der bisherigen Karriere des franco Canadiers. Im Bild sehen Sie noch Ellen Jones, wie er mit Patrick També zu kämpfen hat. Jones ist natürlich Zweiter und També liegt an siebenter Stelle mit einem Rückstand von einer Runde. Für Ferrari ein Jubiläumssieg heute im Fürstentum, der 80. Grand Prix Sieg für das ruhmreiche Haus Ferrari und für Villeneuve der fünfte Grand Prix Sieg in seiner Laufbahn. Als Zweiter wird es El Jones Race at Arama near Madrid Airport took place in sweltering summer heat. Jacques Lafitte was on the pole with the Ligier Matra V12, but Villeneuve, fresh from his win at Monaco, but frustrated with the grip and balance of the Ferrari 126CK Turbo, started only seventh. The two William Cosworths of Alan Jones and Carlos Reutemann led the pack, but Villeneuve used all his turbo power to seize third place and then second from Carlos Reutemann. Jones seemed destined to pull away, but then ran wide on the marbles and spun into the gravel trap. He was pushed back into the race, but would retire later with gearbox problems. Ahead of him, the brilliant Villeneuve was controlling the pace without error. Lafitte's Ligier, the fastest car on the circuit, then closed in. Jack tried every side, wary of the marbles, but Gilles in the closing laps merely switched off his rev limiter and covered the openings. Four drivers, Lafitte, Watson, Reutemann, De Angelis, were now stacked behind Gilles but Jill had it under control. In draining heat, he'd won a famous victory. Lafitte was a valiant second, and John Watson an excellent third. Reutemann was frustrated with his fourth place, but Elio De Angelis, who crossed the line only 1.2 seconds behind the winner, couldn't believe he'd finished only fifth. As they come to lap 76, closing up on De Angelis, and Arnu it pops out and has a look. That's Jody Schechter in the background has been lapped. Arnu has another look. And Villeneuve locks up his tyres. He is trying very, very hard indeed. Fourth gear, up into fifth when they go over the crest of the hill, up to 160, 165 miles an hour as they come down to the right-hander at Villeroy. And it's there that they can pass, and Arnu's going to do it. René Arnu is challenging for second as they come up to Villeroy, but Villeneuve will not give way. Arnu's got the inside line and the shorter line, and he takes second place as they go into the right-hander and the left at Sablier. And now Renault's indeed are first and second in the French Grand Prix, and the French crowd is going mad, roaring in the background. Well, this is incredible. The twin turbo Renault's appeared at Monaco, not their circuit. And now we're into the start of the 79th and last lap but one with René Arnoux second and Villeneuve go. Incredible! Villeneuve stood on everything, locked up his tyres, got the line and he's back into second position on the last lap but one and the French crowd aren't very happy about that and who can blame them? This is incredible. This is the... And Villeneuve goes over the corrugations and he nearly loses the front as they go up to Parabolique on the 80th and last lap. 80th lap in this 80 lap race and there's less than a third of it to go now can Arnu on the tremendously fast La Combe Courbe de Pouar section 150 miles an hour get past they go past Jochen Mars and Jabouy wins Jean-Pierre Jabouy has won in the Renault who is going to be second Villeneuve is at the moment Arnu is in third position into the Cour de Pouar they come. There is Ricardo Patrese and Villeneuve is second. Arnu is third.